how y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And we're gonna have two different kinds of uh, recipes we're gonna cook today. We're gonna make a chili jambalaya, and then we're gonna make a elbow macaroni salad, a la Justin, au Justin, whatever way you want to be correct about it. First, we're gonna fix this uh, chili jambalaya. We want to get it going and have fun doing it. I have here two cups of cooked chili, or it, it has the meat in it, you know. So we don't have to worry. I don't want to get it on my hand, but I want to get I guess so. Uh, did good there, I guarantee. Got most of it out of that thing. Gonna get it all through, because we need every bit of this to make this come out right. Easy cooking, though, I'll tell you that for true. Now, hold still. Now I'm gonna put three cups of uncooked rice. That's two cups of uh, cooked chili that I put in there. Put that in there, now I'm gonna stir that up real good. I haven't got a fire under this yet, but I'm gonna put one under it shortly. After I get it mixed up a little bit better than it is, so it's not mixed up enough right now, not at all, in fact. Okay. Now into this right now, I'm gonna put a cup of mild picante sauce. And that's all the seasoning you're gonna need. Give me a bit of it as we can. Got all that, nothing get out of that. Stir it in there. Stir it good. I love to stir. When you add something, you got to stir. That's just a simple little thing about easy cooking. Cajun cooking is easy cooking. We cook anything, but we make an easy job, so it's not really hard to do. And anybody can cook if they try. Look at me, I'm trying cooking too. <laughs> now, into this, I'm going to put, oh, about, it says a cup of water, but I may put a little more than that in there. Got to put salt in it. Now I put a cup in that, and I'm gonna stir it, see how much I have in there, but I don't want it sticking, no. Ooh, that smelled good and hadn't even started the fire. That's something. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little more water in there than I have. I'm gonna put this in there. Not all of it, yeah I am. <laughs> Now into this, I'm gonna put a 12 ounce bottle of non-alcoholic beer, beer. This is just in case people don't want to drink alcohol. And it helps the taste of this. This is a 12 ounce bottle of non-alcoholic type of beer. I don't drink it, I want you to know. I'm not planning on starting either. Put that there like that. And I've got to put some salt in here. And then I'm gonna let, let it cook. Stir it every now and then so it don't stick to the bottom. That smells good already. Where the salt is here. Come here, salt. Into this, I'm gonna put two teaspoons of salt. That's a little over a teaspoon. <laughs> now I'm gonna put a teaspoon and measure it in my hand and show you that I know what I'm doing about this. That's a teaspoon full of salt. Come here, you. See that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to it, like eating lettuce, you know. <laughs> but that's practice, that's what that is. Tell you right now, hay fever will make you sneeze and your nose will run and all that. Now, we're gonna put a fire under that. Fires under it. We're gonna put that on a medium low and bring it to a boil and let it cook like that. Now, I want to tell you all a story that actually happened down in Tibido, Louisiana many years ago. There was a lady who was happily married and her husband passed away and left her with a people lady. 
and she was just didn't know what to do with herself. She cried and all that stuff. Somebody said, you should get you a pet. I don't have any pets. I don't want to. Oh, yeah, you'll get you a cat, and you'll love that cat, and that cat will love you. And you've got something to look forward to, taking care of your pet. She said, all right, I'll get me a pet. So she got her beautiful cat, one of them, oh, who had long for a Persian cat or something like that. I don't know what they are, but I don't know much about cats. But she took care of that cat and enjoyed that cat and enjoyed doing it. And she overfed the cat and the damn cat died. <laughs> she said, I'm in, a, I'm in a terrible fix, I'll tell you the truth, a terrible fix. But I can weather this, I weathered other things and I can weather this too, but I'm gonna go. And she went to the Catholic church and said, we would like for you to bury my cat. The priest said, lady, we don't bury cats. We bury just people. That's all we bury. Well, I'm sorry. She says, I'll go ask one of the Protestant churches to bury my cat and, and give them that $25,000 I was going to give. He said, you said 25000 She says, yeah, well, you just brought your cat here. We just started burying cats, I guarantee. <laughs> and right now, I'm going to start putting something together. This, here. this is boiled macaroni that I boiled this morning, elbow macaroni. And into this clean, is that clean? Yes, it is. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in there. All of it, get in there, get in there, get in there. My hands are clean, just washed them. Yes, did it. <laughs> and I'm gonna stir that with this spoon that's got holes in it. Get it around where we can really get with it, which we can do. Come up on the stove out of it. Now I'm going. Hmm. Come on, break loose. I know you're done, because I ate part of it. Yes, sir. Now into this, we've got various things we're going to put in there. Got a list of them, in fact. And I like to read my recipe to the people because I think they want to learn. Put that there. Put this in here. Give me a little more room. Yeah, that's what I need is room. I've got a pound of elbow macaroni cooked just like they said on the back of the package. That's what it says to do. I got a cup nice onion. This is a cup of nice onion. I'm going to put this in there. And stir it just a little bit. We can do that now. You've got to mix this stuff as you go along. If you don't, you'll have all of the good stuff in one spot and the bad spot in another spot. That's it. And into this, I'm going to put a cup of finely, no, a cup of dill pickle, chopped, not too fine. You want them to be in there so you taste the dill pickle. Put them dill pickle in there. Come on out of there now. I need every one of you. Stir a little bit. Then we're going to hold off there and put it there. Green onion, daddy, a cup of them. a cup of green onion. Chunk them in there. And stir them around a little bit so it mixed up a little. Get back in there now. Stir. Ah, yeah. Now, if it is, we're going to haul off and put a cup of finely chopped. Sari. I like sari, but I don't cook with much. Put that in there. Stir it around a little bit so it makes it easier. Then we're going to put some finely chopped parsley, stems and all, stems and the leaves. Put it in there like that. Got it all. Stir that in there some, right? That looks good, yeah. Oh man, I love this kind of salad. 
uh, really do, because it tastes good. And it tastes good, that's the mainest thing. Mm -hmm. Now into that, I'm going to haul off and put pimento stuffed olives. Come here to me, a cup of them. What we did, we just slice them down the middle so we got the color and the flavor. Got it all, ain't that nice? Don't you fall out of there. Now that's about most we're going to put in there. Oh, I got some hard boiled eggs that's been chopped. Bell pepper. I'm going to put that in there before I put the egg. And stir that in with, with them olives, pimento stuffed olives. I'll see you in there. Fresh bell pepper chopped. It is like this, and like this. Mm, mm, mm. I guarantee that's going to be. Now I got these eggs, I got to put it. Oh, let me put that cheddar cheese first. That's pretty, huh? Some grated cheddar cheese. Spread around there real nice. Then I'm going to put the egg on that and stir them both together at the same time. Eat, that's, ooh, eat, that's some good. <laughs> Chopped egg. It took five eggs to get this thing right. That's a, about a, two cup of eggs, I think it is. Get that over there out of my way and stir this just a little to get it mixed up. You have to put that, cook that uh, macaroni and then let it cool down because if you didn't, you'd have the worst looking salad you ever saw. Everything would be floppy and this ain't floppy though. Ain't gonna be no. Now, I think I got everything in there I got to put in there. And what I'm gonna do is make a I'll just bring my mixing bowl over here. Oh, we that smells good. I got to stir that. I hate to do it, but I got to stir it. I don't hate it. It's trying to stick on me. All right, you chilly devil, don't you do that to me. If I may be a little hot, I think I'll put it on low. That's what I'm gonna do. But don't load. Now it'll go ahead and cook anyhow, but it won't stick. Now into this salad dressing, I'm going to put some mayonnaise, a cup of mayonnaise, right here. I'm gonna put it in this, in this bowl to just beat out of it. <laughs> I thought to say hell, but it didn't do it. Beat the hell out of this and good. Got to get all that in there and get, because I need it. And then I'm gonna put some Creole mutard mustard in that. And beat it the way it comes back to the consistency that that is right there. More on that now. I got to put that, and I've got a fourth of a cup of Creole mustard, and it goes awfully good in this salad dressing. Makes it look good, too. Got specks in it, make you think you got more than you got. Oh, boy. Now what I'm gonna do is beat that together. I like this so it'll be good. <laughs> Put the motion on it, ain't gonna be any good if you don't. You see it comes back to the same consistency that I wanted that I started with that mayonnaise. Now into this, I'm gonna put some olive oil. It says hot sauce, but I'm gonna put the olive oil first. Cause I'm gonna beat that some more, make it look more pretty. I'll tell you for true, it's gonna be good. Can't wait to taste some of this. Now, I think it said two tablespoons full. I'm a, yeah, that's what it said, two tablespoons full. I'm gonna put one tablespoon full in there first. I'm gonna beat a little bit. That's a tablespoon full, don't worry. And I can tell by weight if for nothing else. That tablespoon full of good olive oil. 
It's going to look better already just with an addition of one tablespoonful of olive oil. I got to put about a half a tablespoonful, maybe a little more than that. And put the lid on this, because that's all I'm going to use it at. And put a little Louisiana hot sauce in there, beat it in there too. You can go over there and I'm true with you right now for the time being. Go on now, now you go on. Now. now into this, we'll put a little Louisiana hot sauce. Now, I, now see the recipe called for a, a two teaspoonful. Oh, Louisiana hot sauce to my taste. No, say, no measure on this, but I'm going to put a teaspoonful in it. And that's enough of a teaspoon for the day. I mean, I mean, that is lemon juice. I'm going to add to that as soon as I get this whipped into it good. I got to watch this because I'd have it on the floor if I didn't. Now, this is about, uh, I would say, two tablespoonful of fresh squoze. We squoze this today. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Now, fresh lemon juice is good. That old stuff comes in that bottle, I can't stand it. I don't use it. But I don't like the taste of it. Tastes like it's canned, and it is. Now, I got to stir this chili. I don't want that to stick to the bottom of that pot. Well, that's the part I like. We call it gratin, you know? We like that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, now you got to go over here on that. Put that on that. I don't need them to move out of the way. I'm going to taste this or no, but not yet. Oh, boy. That looks very good. It is good. But before I put that on there, I think I'm going to put some of uh, a heat diffuser under this and I'm going to get myself some something to lift that up with because that's hotter than 12 yards of you know well, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Maybe 20 yards. Get me some these little devils. Okay. I'm going to lift that up and lower that fire. I'm going to put that fire on a simmer, simmer, simmer. What I'm going to do, a nice simmer. Now you're good now, now you're good, now you're good. That's exactly right. Put that heat diffuser underneath this. Put it on there, boy. Put this right on top. Then put the lid on there and let it cook. And it'll cook just right. I guarantee it'll cook just right. I got this the way I put it where I work on. Looking good too. <laughs> Let me mix it just a least bit more. Get it here closer to my tummy. Oh boy, this is getting better as we go along. That's for true. That even smells good, and that nothing in it yet, heart. Nothing old, no, that's good dressing. That is good dressing, too. Get right there. All right, dressing, we got to go in there, every bit of you. All over. I know it looks like too much, but it ain't. It's just exactly enough, I guarantee you. I can wait to taste some of this. I've got to wait, though. You're not doing much good, so I got me a little spatula here to get this a lot better than you get it. 
So let's get it out of there. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Now we're going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's smelling good. It is good, too. I guarantee it's good. You know, years ago they were having a trial in Tenspohol Parish, I think it was, and there was a Cajun there that they were trying, and the judge asked the man they were trying. He looked nervous and all that stuff. He wanted to make him feel at home. But he, 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 they always do this if you want to challenge the jury, just go ahead and challenge the jury. He said to, to the defendant, do you, do you wish to challenge the jury, Han? The defendant says, yes, sir. Well, go ahead and challenge it. Pick out one and challenge it. He said, I'll take on that little bitty fella sitting on the end over there. The judge said, well, you don't challenge the jury. He thought he was going to have to go out there and whip him, you know. I don't know just how he felt. Now we're going to mix this real good. Oh, boy. And I'm going to eat a bunch of it, I hope. Ay, ay, ay. Now, you thought that that was too much stuff I had. Now, I know you did. <laughs> but I'm not about to put too much. I'm going to put just enough to make it workable, make it taste good. You're not putting any salt in this? It didn't call for salt. Let me look at that recipe. I salted that stuff. Salt to taste. I knew it was supposed to have salt in there. See there? Had that heat at the bottom of the pan. It's trying to get by with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a teaspoon full of salt in it. And you've got a lot of vegetables in there. I'm going to put another half a teaspoon full. You think they'll have, I'd bet money on a uh, half a teaspoon full. Get it off. Now we'll mix it some more. Again, nah. Oh, you kid. Mm, mm, mm. Ay, ay, ay. Don't that look good? Now tell the truth, don't that look good? Yeah. Uh, it is good. Look, it, it tastes better than it looks, I'll tell you the truth. I had a man tell me today, he says, I never do eat pasta. I said, you're going to eat some today, I can tell you that. And I don't want you eating it all after you taste that even. You know? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down over there and taste a little bit. Oh, oh man, that, that smells good, too, you know? <laughs> gotcha. You mix pretty good. Let me mix you a little more a little later. Now, let me sit down here. Pull my chair up a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, Put my napkin in my lap like a little man. Hmm. And then I'm going to taste for myself a little bit of wine. You know how it is. Wine goes good with anything. Now, red wine will go good with this. Goes good with, with uh, any kind of jambalaya spread out there. So. And now here's some of that salad. I made that earlier so I'd be sure I had some. Put that there like that. Pour the wine, Justin. Yes, sir. Just a sip. That looked like about a sip. Pretty good sip. And you taste everything. Now, you're supposed to eat your salad first, I think, but I'm going to taste this jambalaya first because it looks so good. Quit spilling. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. I think I'll have another little taste of that. I may even use a spoon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now some salad. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. A little sip of wine. <clears throat> and made it go down easier. Tastes so good. <laughs>